how to export Facebook cover graphics and what file type produces the best results. Um, so to start, you want to get your artboards set up. So you're going to create a new document. They recommend 851 pixels by 315 pixels for a Facebook cover photo. Uh, keep your raster effects high at 300 PPI and hit create. That'll create your artboard for the photo. Um, here I already have two artboards made. Um, one is a JPEG. We're going to say export as a JPEG. The other we're going to export as PNG. To do that, once your art is ready, file export for screens. Then I have a couple artboards, but I'm going to select the JPEG artboard here. Name it as JPEG. I'm going to export as JPEG 100. I'm going to export. I have one there. I'm going to replace it then file export for screens again. Now we're gonna select our PNG artboard, which is this one. We're gonna change the format to a PNG and we're gonna export that as well. We brought them into Facebook and took a screenshot of each one so that we could compare the two. On the JPEG here, we actually notice crisper lines around the text. Um, on the PNG, there's artifacting specifically with color. Uh, this yellow text on the blue background has significant artifacting. Um, not as noticeable on the white and black background, uh, but we do pick it up on the regular text. And then on the graphic, we notice something interesting. The JPEG at the top here actually has cleaner lines where the color separation is. On the PNG, we notice some slight blur and artifacting leading to almost a color bleed uh, on the graphics with the PNG. So normally a PNG would be better for graphics because the line generation is usually a bit cleaner. But for whatever reason, specifically with Facebook cover photos, it seems like the JPEG is the way to go, specifically with uh, Facebook cover graphics. So. Um, Maybe we'll do a test on regular posts, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Like or subscribe if you want more short tutorials.